Happy Friday, boys and girls. Today, I would like to talk to you about two special things, caterpillars and butterflies. Pretty cool week. We're going to be learning about butterflies, and then next week, we're going to learn a little bit more about their life cycle. But today, I would like to start talking to you about caterpillars. Earlier in the week, I read you this book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and we did a really cool project on The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Today, I'd like to read you a scholastic about some colorful caterpillars. Let's take a look at the cover of our scholastic. It's called Caterpillar Colors. Caterpillars, caterpillars, sitting in a tree. What color caterpillars can you see? Ooh, let's take a look at that cover. What color caterpillars do we see on this tree? I see. What color is this guy? He's orange. orange. How about this one? Blue. It's two yellow. colors. Yep. How about this one? Red and yellow. Those are very interesting looking caterpillars. Kind of cool that caterpillars come in all different shapes and colors. Let's open up our Scholastic and learn a little bit more about the different colorful Sorry. caterpillars. Caterpillar rainbow. Oh yeah, that really does look like a rainbow. Look at all those colors. Let's look at the first one up here. Right here. This little, little caterpillar is, what color? Red. It has sharp it has sharp, sharp spines. Oh yes, look at those. Look at those little spines. Those little, almost look like little thorns, little spikes on his back. Mm, I don't think I'd want to touch him. Mm. How about this one right here? What color is he? What color? It's like the poison sword. He's yellow. This little caterpillar is yellow. It has stingers. Ooh, yeah, I don't think I'd want to touch that one either. He has all those stingers all over his yellow body. Maybe it's poisonous. Maybe it's poisonous. Sometimes animals that are very bright colors are poisonous to some other this animals. This bright colors. Let's take a look at this one right here. What color is this caterpillar? That's green. This little caterpillar is green. It arches its body to crawl. Oh, I wonder if that's an inchworm. Look at the way he arches his body it looks and like inches it has along. Spikes. It looks like. Okay, let's look at the next one. What color is this guy? He's purple. This little caterpillar is purple. It munches on leaves. Oh, just like our hungry little caterpillar. He munched on a big green leaf. Have you ever seen a purple caterpillar, boys and girls? Have you, Reese? Mm -mm. Have you, Brooke? Nope. No, I haven't either. That's very unique. And oh, let's look at this one right here. This little caterpillar is brown. It hides. It looks like a stick. Can you even spy the caterpillar in this picture? It's hard to see, isn't it? He's camouflaging. He's blending in with his surroundings. Very cool. He looks just like the stick. Oh, look at this. This is definitely a rainbow caterpillar. How many colors can you see on this caterpillar? Let's talk about the colors we see. Boys and girls, what colors do you see on this crazy looking caterpillar? I see blue. I see orange. Yellow. Green. Any, any other colors? Purple. You see a little purple? Yeah, a little purple right there. Wow, that is a very beautiful caterpillar. I have never seen one like that. Wow, that's, that's awesome. That's very unique. Very unique. Now look at this. These two creatures look a lot alike, but they are technically a little bit different. This one right here so is a butterfly. butterfly. And this one right here is mm -hmm. not actually a butterfly. It's a moth. It looks very similar. They have a lot of similar characteristics, but they're not exactly the same. Let's take a look at the two pictures. Hmm, what 
is different about the butterfly and the moth? Well, let's see. Number one, which is awake in the day? Is it the butterfly or the moth? So look at the pictures. What do you see in this picture? I see a blue sky and a sun. That looks like the time of the day the butterfly is out. What do you see here? The moth is flying at night. So, who is awake in the daytime? The butterfly. You can say it, butterfly. All right, which is awake at night? The butterfly or the moth, boys and girls? This is the moth. Is he awake at night? Yes, he's awake at night. He's a nighttime critter. Which has feathery antenna? Remember what the antenna are. They're up on the top of his head. Here's the butterfly's antennas, and here's the moth's antennas. Which one has feathery antennas? The butterfly or the moth? Say it. Moth. The moth. Look, yes, he has feathery antenna. And you see our butterfly, they have long, thin antenna. So that's another difference. And number four, which have thin antenna? Well, we just noticed it is indeed the butterfly with the long, thin antenna. So that is some of the differences between butterflies and moths. Okay, I have a little bit of a little book for you guys. I'm going to read one chapter out of it called The Butterfly Life Cycle. We are going to learn a little bit more about the life cycle next week, but I'd like to introduce this book to you and show you the first few pages so we can learn a little bit more about butterflies. All about butterflies. Look, it's a butterfly. This book will tell you about the lives of these beautiful bugs. This is a monarch butterfly. Butterflies are insects. They have six legs, just like ants, grasshoppers, and ladybugs. All right, so we know that a butterfly is an insect. It has six legs. They're a little hard to see, but butterflies have six legs, just like other, other insects, like ants, ladybugs, and grasshoppers. Let's take a look at the, the different parts of the butterfly. Wow, look how beautiful those wings are. Here are the antenna. We saw that earlier. And here are its eyes. Can you see that? It's hard to see. Those are his eyes on the side of his head. And of course we have the wings. And here's the body. Here's the body of the butterfly right here. So those are the different parts of our butterfly. Butterflies have four wings. Each wing is covered with thousands of tiny scales. The scales give butterfly wings their bright colors. So look at this butterfly's bright, colorful wings. What colors do you see? You see orange, a little bit of yellow and black and white. So those colors are because of the scales on the butterfly wings. Butterflies drink their meals through a thin tube called, oh, this is a funny word. That thin tube is called a proboscis. Can you say that? Proboscis. Proboscis. Yeah, so that's how they drink their nectar. Their favorite meal is nectar, which they suck up from flowers. You can see right here, the butterfly is drinking the nectar from the flower through its proboscis. Pretty cool. And these are the scales up close on the wings. The scales of a wing look like, look like this close up. Wow. There are 17,500 kinds of butterflies. How do you think the ones here got their names? Wow, I didn't know there were that many different types of butterflies. That's pretty remarkable. Let's look at some of these. We have the 89 butterfly. Why do you think that's called an 89 butterfly? Look at his wings. Look, right here, 89 butterfly. Really cool, look, the numbers eight and nine. 
We've got the owl butterfly. Mm -hmm. You think maybe his wing looks a little bit like the face of an owl? That's pretty cool too. And the tiger, butter the tiger butterfly, his wings resemble the stripes of a tiger. Peacock butterfly. Mm -hmm. It looks like it has eyes, like peacock eyes on its wings. This is the zebra, zebra swallowtail butterfly. His wings look like zebra stripes. Emerald butterfly. What color is the emerald butterfly? Green. Emeralds are green stones. So that's how he got his name. And finally, ooh, this one is very unique. It's called the glass wing butterfly. Take a look, take a look at his wings. What do you notice, boys? It does look like glass. You can see through his wings. They're transparent. What? Look at them. Wow. I have never seen such a butterfly. Very cool. Butterflies come in all different colors. Some have spots, as we saw here. Some have stripes. See the stripes? Some seem like they have painted wings. But butterflies do not begin their lives looking this way. Let's take a peek at the life cycle of a monarch to see how they grow and change. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and continue this book next week. So we'll learn about the life cycle of the monarch butterfly next week. But I really just wanted to show you the different types of wings and different types of butterflies in this book. All right. So, I want to remind you of another big word. We talked about it last week. It's called symmetry. So as we notice the butterflies in this book, their wings are the same on both sides. Take a look at this one. The wing on this side is the same as his wing over here. It's symmetrical, it has symmetry. See that? So just like our butterflies that we made last week for our All About Me book, they are also symmetrical. They are the same on each side. So that is a very cool feature about butterflies. Their wings are symmetrical. They are the same on both sides. It's a mirror image. Okay, boys and girls, there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about with butterflies. Butterflies and caterpillars. Well, let's think. What letter does caterpillar start with? I'm gonna write it down. It's a big word here. This is caterpillar. What is this letter right here? That is the letter C. C for caterpillar. I'm gonna write the word butterfly. <laughs> here's the word butterfly, another big word. There's lots of letters, but the first letter right here in butterfly, who knows what letter that is? I know my boys and girls have been practicing their letters at home. It's the letter B. I would love a different marker. Look, my marker is not working so well. Maybe Brooks can find me another one while I continue talking to you guys about the letter C and the letter B. Okay, so we know that caterpillar starts with C. We know butterfly starts with B. I would love to make a list of other words that start with the letter C. C, caterpillar starts with C. What other words start with C? C makes the k, -k sound. Oh, do you have an idea, Reese? What starts with C? Capture. Capture. Oh, wow, that's a big word. Okay, I'll write it down. K -k capture. What's another word that starts with C? The type of animal that we have at our house. Letter C for capture. Yes, Reese? We have a cat. K -k cat. That does start with C. Oh, thank you, Brooks. Saved me here. Cat. Cat starts with C. Cat. Let's think of two more words that start with C. But let's try to think of small words. 
because I don't have a lot of room here. What do you think? Um, How about what do you drink your juice out of? A cup. 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 That starts with C. And Reese, give me one word, one more C word. Cab. Cab. Like a taxi cab. Mm -hmm. Cab. That starts with C too. You have one more? Yeah. What word is that? A cap. Oh, that's a great one. K -k cap. So we have capture, cat, cup, cab, and cap. And of course, caterpillar. K -k caterpillar. All right, next letter. The letter B. Let's think of some words that start with B, just like b -b butterfly. What do you think, Brooks? My name. What's your Brooks. name? Brooks. Brooks. Okay. B -b Brooks. Okay, Reese, give me a B name. Bat. Bat. That could be two different types of things. Like a baseball bat or mm -hmm. one of those flying bats, bat. the animal. B -b bat. All right, let's think of a couple more. Bad. Bad. That's true. That's a B word. B -b bad. B bad. Go ahead, Brooks. Brown. Brown. Like the wings of one of those. No, it was the caterpillar we saw that was brown that blended in with the stick. B -b brown. I have one more. One more, Reese. Give me one more good one. Black. Black, another color. The color that we see on the caterpillars and the butterfly wings. We'll stop there. I think that's enough. Oh, blue. So we know that there are a lot of colors that start with B. All right, all right, blue. And back. Let's stop there. Let's go all those great B words. Brooks, bat, bad, brown, black, and blue. Boys and girls at home, can you think of any more words that begin with B, 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 B. I know we have a student in our class whose name begins with B. Who could that be? Who is it? Brody. Brody starts with B. That is correct. Okay, my friends. This ends my butterfly list lesson for the day. Next week, I am going to talk to you about the life cycle of the butterfly. So I will have lots of cool information to talk to you about when it comes to the life cycle. Okay? Have a lovely weekend and a wonderful Memorial Day, and we will see you next week. Bye, friends.